Hi everyone, I'm Samantha from Top Dog Tips. This is my Chocolate Lab Sadie, and today I'm gonna give you my 10 tips for getting a dog to like you. Obviously, our dogs love me and they're used to me, but this would be if you bring a new dog into your home, if a new dog comes into your home, um, or if you are uh, maybe moving in with a roommate, something like that, where there's a dog around and you wanna get them to like you. So the first thing you need to do is be patient. Dogs aren't going to just automatically like you. They need time and it's gonna take them a while to get used to you. So be patient. Observe the dog, number two. Observe them, see what they like, what they don't like. Um, as certain things that might trigger some anxiety or some stress for them, stay away from those things. You need to do a lot of observation about the dog in the beginning. And uh, three and four go hand in hand and that's body language. You need to be mindful of the dog's body language. If the ears are back, if the eyes are wide open, if the tail is down, um, obviously Sadie loves me and she's happy so her tail is up and wagging, but um, a wagging tail doesn't always mean that a dog is happy. Uh, if a dog's tail is out and just the end of it's kind of flickering, that could show nervousness. If the dog's tail, come here Sadie. Now you can see that Sadie's is up and wagging everywhere. Come here big girl, Sadie. And give her something to be mindful about here. Um, so hers is up and wagging, she's excited. If the tail is, see, if the tail is, <laughs> here, you take that. If the tail is down like this and wagging or tucked underneath, those are both signs that a dog is scared and nervous. Um, so actually that segues nicely into number five. Number five is find something that the dog likes. Good girl. If the dog likes to play fetch, play fetch. If the dog likes to tug, um, if the dog likes to go for walks, if the dog likes to uh, lay in a certain spot by themselves, you know, give them that time to do what they like to do. If it's something that you can be a part of, uh, certainly, you know, that's a good bonding experience. Now, Sadie obviously loves to fetch. When we have new people over to our house and we want to get them used to her, there's two ways to Sadie's heart. One is food. The other is a toy. She loves to fetch and it's a quick way to bond with her. So find something that um, your new dog enjoys or the dog that you're trying to get to like you enjoys and do that with them. Once you find something the dog likes and you enjoy, have fun and loosen up. That's my next tip. You know, you need to be relaxed. Um, and when I talked about body language and I said three and four go hand in hand, you know, you, the dog's body language and your body language, those go together. If you are crossing your arms, if you are looking angry, if you're giving off a vibe that, um, you know, you're not happy, then the dog's not going to be happy either. The same thing can go for nervousness. So uh, if you're nervous, if you're showing a dog that you're nervous, um, if you have body language that's very off-putting, you know, that's not going to be good. So have fun, loosen up. Enjoy the time that you are spending with the dog. Um, the other thing that I mentioned to Sadie's heart, which she knows that I now have, is to feed the dog. Uh, if a dog loves food, most dogs do. Uh, feeding them is a quick way to get to their heart. So, um, you know, as long as it's okay with the owner, if the owner's not you and you make sure that the dog doesn't have any allergies, feed the dog. My eighth tip, be present, be in the moment, spend the time. If you are on your cell phone, if you are talking to another human, um, you know, you need to be present and be with the dog. Show the dog that it matters to you, that this bonding between the two of you is important. So be present. Um, and speaking of bonding, try some bonding activities. Going for a walk, going hiking, um, doing um, dog training, agility work, nose work tons of stuff and there's information on all of those activities on our website if you're not sure what they are or you need some help getting started um, there's information on all of that but uh, yeah do some bonding activities you know nothing strengthens a bond with your dog better than doing an activity where you know you're both working together and uh, strengthening that bond that you have and number 10 is just don't force anything you know dogs and human bonds are much similar to a canine canine bond or a human human bond Sometimes you're just not gonna click and that's okay. Um, it, it does happen, it's not often. If you're making the effort and the dog is a, a dog that is friendly with people, um, you know, quite often that will come naturally. Sometimes it takes longer for some dogs than others, but uh, don't force it. If a dog is nervous around you, if a dog doesn't seem like it wants to be around you, don't force that. Uh, let it come naturally, and it will. It shouldn't take very long. If you guys have any questions on how to get a dog to like you, as you can see, I've done pretty well with that with our girls. Um, feel free to email me, Samantha at topdogtips.com. Thanks for watching this How to Guide.